Maya Kui, National Melita, and this is my channel, The Midnight Librarian. Today I will be going over my review of We Have a Little Real Estate Problem by Cliff Nesteroth. Firstly, I'd like to thank Simon & Schuster for sending me this finished copy of We Had a Little Real Estate Problem. Um, this was published in February of 2021, so it is out now. I highly suggest you check it out. Secondly, I'd like to say that I don't believe that Cliff Nestroff is indigenous, um, but also just as a disclaimer that just because I'm putting out a review of this book doesn't mean that I am your token indigenous voice. Um, my review is my own. I am not a voice for all indigenous people. On that note, I am of the Yurok people in Northern California. All tribes, nations, and peoples are not monolithic. We all have our own teachings, our own histories, and our own lessons. And just because we do have some similarities does not mean we're monolithic. We all have our individuality right down to like different families and different individuals within the same tribe, nation, or people doing it slightly different than the family in the same tribe, nation, or people. So there's my disclaimer for that. So we had a little real estate problem by Cliff Nesteroff is the unheralded story of Native Americans and comedy. I really enjoyed this book. I did listen to it via Libro FM and I highly suggest um, if you're able to listen to it that way, great. Um, if you're able to listen to it and then follow along in here, I also suggest that. I almost think that would be a bit better just because there is, Cliff Nesteroff goes through quite a few, a few people in terms of Native American uh, indigenous comedians to the point where I often forgot who he went over. So I'll definitely have to go through back through this book and kind of look people up ultimately, like look up who in which indigenous, like what indigenous people are in what industry. Because he, that another thing that I really appreciated about this book was that it wasn't just indigenous stand-up comedians. It was indigenous people writing, um, writing in Hollywood or filmmaking or it's it, it's like the whole entertainment industry so which is really cool because one thing that I tend to always think about and this is something that I've been trying to fix is that when it comes to indigenous nonfiction I immediately think it's set in the past it's like we're just going over indigenous history again which it does do in here and there's that balance of how much to put into that so this does great in that it does go into the story of Native Americans and comedy and entertainment and how colonization has affected that as well as like the different issues that had come from colonization so like the fact that we couldn't leave reservations until like the 1950s depending on yeah and the fact that we couldn't vote until the 1960s etc how that affected us going like indigenous people going into the entertainment industry or had were, essentially were coerced or forced into it and how that affects our comedy how that affects our sense of humor of sorts because and how the entertainment industry has essentially created a stereotype that we are constantly trying to fight not just hollywood but major major sports teams and their mascots as well as other other stereotypes so that was one a definite one huge thing that i really appreciated was that not only was it balanced really well in terms of just how much information is put in here because there's always that like but you didn't talk about this or this or this I feel like there was enough talked about that was relevant to Native Americans in comedy and entertainment that it made sense. Sense. It made a whole lot of sense. What I also really appreciated was that Cliff, Cliff Nesteroff bought it, brought it to the present. There was things in here that were as recent as 2017 with Standing Rock or with the 1491's play in the Shakespeare Festival. So that I really appreciated and I'm sure there's others that I am forgetting at the moment but I really appreciated Cliff Nesteroff bringing the fights that we are still fighting to the present because that's one thing that I've noticed that white liberals or non-indigenous liberals tend to misunderstand is that 
is that we're still going through trauma of our history and it's like yes we're still going through that but we're also having to deal with the trauma that is still going on we are still having fights that we shouldn't have to fight about um treaties are still being broken and water rights that are still being ignored um constant constant issues that is downright ridiculous that we're still having to fight and people either don't notice or don't care so that's one thing that i really really appreciated about this book was that it brought those into the present ultimately i gave this book four stars and it was be <laughs> the reason why it wasn't a full five stars is because like i said there was a lot in here i mean not that it's not a very big book it is 318 pages and that's with the index um but like i said the problem with <sighs> finding that balance of just what to put in here what not to um, Cliff Nesteroff also goes through a slew of comedians so not only it's the chapters are, are alternating is that we're getting some of the modern takes of indigenous people in the entertainment industry but also we're getting historical takes on how the entertainment industry had evolved and what colonization did to indigenous people and how that affected us in the entertainment industry so that in itself was like really well balanced but at the same time with how many people there were involved with it i often forgot who we had already talked about so it wasn't until like there were certain details reiterated that i'm like oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. we 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 talked about them before um so i don't know if it would have helped if i did read along with this like i'm suggesting with you now uh, if i listen to it while reading it if it would have just stuck better um but there was often pieces that i kind of just that just kind of fell off and i forgot about and i don't necessarily know if that is because i already kind of knew about it or because it just wasn't as clear to me as i would have liked it to be but like i said it was ultimately really enjoyable um i really enjoyed the narration of the audiobook i can see it being a really entertaining entertaining docu-series it's not a full-on documentary with Nostroff himself I don't like I said I'm not sure if he's indigenous I don't believe so but he is a self it's a self-proclaimed or just an overall proclaimed comedy historian which is really entertaining and I believe this is his second book um so yeah it was really just nice because I like I knew of the 1491s before reading this book we've had them here locally a couple of times at our university and they were really funny um and of course when their play came out in uh and was going on at the Shakespeare Festival in Ashland which is like several hours away from here a lot of my the indigenous community here locally went up to go see it I didn't at the time because I was a broke college student um so so i knew of the 1491s and it was just kind of an odd thought really of indigenous people in comedy like though it makes sense right not so much that it makes sense like so that's the thing um that it does like to me it's just kind of like well yeah like indigenous people can do anything and you would like you would think right but like even just this book i don't know if cliff nastroff had gone over all the indigenous people that have been comedians or are currently in the com comedy industry or even in the entertainment industry there's got to be more right <laughs> but there's that question of is there because like we only just have deb holland as the secretary of the interior like there's this I mean there's so many things that we are just now getting into that you I I particularly am really am questioning going how many like just how much or like it's, it's not to say that it's not great it's great that Deb Holland is in as the secretary of the interior it's great that we have indigenous people within the government now uh, or even in entertainment but with <laughs> the fact of how long we've been here versus just how many are represented is really interesting and depressing 
really, uh, if you think about it. So that's something I'm constantly thinking of. And it's something that, like I said, I, I'm appreciating about this book because it makes me think about that. And it makes me think about just how many people are now in the entertainment industry trying to break those stereotypes that so many people think of us as. So <laughs> I really appreciated it. I also really appreciated a lot of the things that Cliff Nesterov had to say in turn and like, or repeated from some of the people that he referenced in here, like white liberals just not just like not understanding that we're still continuing to fight and that all they see us as is like is through pity or think that we no longer have a voice to feel like we they need to speak up for us which totally like what and the fact that this doesn't say stuck in the past that it's being brought into like the here and now and the what we're still still fighting for um yes i get that standing rock was several like four years ago now but we are still fighting the fight for water rights there's still line three there's still the klamath we are still fighting these it's not just because it's not <laughs> trending anymore doesn't mean that we're still not fighting this so i um, i highly suggest this for anybody and everybody and this actually gets me excited to read Native Apparitions which is about deconstructing um, the Hollywood image of Native Americans in the entertainment industry so that I would like to see um, I'm excited to read now so this was <laughs> which was actually the one I was supposed to read in September and didn't I read this one instead so <laughs> so hopefully my review of this made sense um, I don't have much else to say about it. Like I said, um, there was some of it that I kind of forgot, but there was a lot that I really appreciated. Solid four stars for me, which is not a bad rating by any means. Like I will definitely like suggest this to people to read, um, particularly, um, like if you want to know a little more, like a little more in-depth history about a about indigenous people in a particular area um, for the entertainment industry for instance I would suggest um, and even Cliff Nestroff had suggested reading um, an indigenous history by reading this one and then reading this one <laughs> um, but otherwise like I think you can get away with just I mean this I always suggest um, but these two together are pretty good. If you've read, we had a little real estate problem, please let me know what your thoughts were down in, in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope that you are in the mindset to enjoy your reading and I will see you in another video very soon. Chew.